Chapter 317 Baptism of the Sun, the Golden Dragon Lady, reddish yellow light shone on the arena of the Continental Elite Youth Soul Master Tournament. It had been there for more than a minute now, no one could tell what was going on in the arena because of the light, but dark red molten metal flowed down the inside of the protective barrier, and the intense heat caused many waves to form on it. If even the metal was melting, one could tell how terrifying the temperature in the arena was. Huo Yuan did not help Wang Qiu in the end. He believed in her abilities. At the same time, he did so for the Tang Sect. He was a member of the Tang Sect, and while the glory of Shrek was important, he was the main control type soul master of the Tang Sect as well. If he could not take part in the top eight fight at full strength, what if his teammates became injured? After entering the top eight, any mistake might cost them the entire competition. Even if Wang Qiu lost, she still had other teammates. All the best, Qiu. Huo Yuan clenched his right fist unconsciously. Suddenly, at this moment, the scene in the arena started to change. The intense reddish gold light began to contract at an astounding pace. Everyone could now see that the ground of the arena was heated completely red. The light, that was slowly receding to a single spot, became more and more mysterious. It started to twist and turn intensely, forming shapes like water ripples. This is Xu Tian's form could be seen. Both her palms reached out into the sky, and she held a small sun. However, the sun had turned dark red. On her body, the light from her sixth soul ring shone radiantly. The jet black soul ring appeared to have dyed the sun, even turning it darker. This is sun's gaze. Her sixth soul skill is actually sun's gaze. Wang Qiu is in danger. He K2 blurted out. Without needing his explanation, Hua Yuan could clearly see the purpose of sun's gaze. It gathered the energy of the sun, compressed it, and concentrated it. The reddish gold light was concentrated onto one point, as if it were flowing through a funnel. Without a doubt, that was where Wang Qiu was standing. Indeed, this was a classic case whereby the spectators would have a better understanding of what was going on compared to the person who was directly involved. Wang Qiu could not see what was going on. All she could feel was the temperature around her rising steadily. When all the light had been concentrated at that point, Shi Tian would be able to unleash a devastating attack. Sun's gaze was an extremely powerful attack. However, the conditions for gaining it were extremely difficult. One had to locate a soul beast for the sun bug and find the king of a colony of sun bugs. Only then could one obtain the soul skill. The place where the sun bugs could be found was as dangerous as the core regions of the great Stardo forest. Finding the king of the sun bugs wasn't something that could be done within a few hours. One could only imagine the difficulty Shu Tian had to go through to obtain the soul skill. However, Sun's gaze was also an attack with many abilities. It could be combined with the many other soul skills of her Sun Martial Soul, such as lofty light rays and divine sunlight. Furthermore, its offensive power was incredible. For someone who possessed a martial soul like hers, it was a godly move. Tapping into the Sun's gaze ability to be combined with other attacks, Shu Tian had been preparing this attack for a very long time. When she finally unleashed it, it would be as strong as a full strength attack from a seven ring soul sage. It was capable of melting metal and was almost as hot as ultimate fire. No, I must help you. The gaze in Huo Yuao's eyes concentrated, and a golden light shone from his pupils. Just when he was about to intervene and inform Wang Qiu through spiritual detection, an odd scene appeared. The rapidly shrinking sunlight suddenly stopped. Then, the clear roar of a dragon could be heard. A cold smile formed around the corners of Shu Tian's mouth. It's too late now. My lofty light rays and sun's gaze have locked onto you. Right now, after the size of the domain has been reduced, you will be burned by fire from the sun. Even a soul sage cannot escape. Aren't you waiting for your chance? Now, let's see what tricks you have. Even with your instant teleportation, can you really escape the fire of the sun? A cold look flashed across Shu Tian's eyes. Was she really as naive and dumb as she looked? Only she knew the answer to that question. Indeed, the increasingly mysterious light paused for a short while. Then, it started to retract inward, and soon, it was about to concentrate on a single point. Huo Yuao's eyes were closed, and his shapeless spiritual power penetrated the protective barrier. His spiritual power was being depleted at an astounding rate. However, the moment his spiritual power entered the arena, he immediately opened his eyes. The golden light in his eyes faded, and a look of shock crossed his face. The light was finally concentrated onto a single point. Wang Qiu's slender frame could be seen. I told. I told you, go and die. Shu Tian Tian shouted intensely. It was as if she had already seen Wang Qiu's body melting and exploding under Sun's gaze. After they lost Wang Qiu, she did not believe that the team from Shrek could threaten her anymore. There's no need to hide. I won't kill you. From Shu Tian Tian's perspective, Wang Qiu, who should have no way of resisting, lifted her right hand. Her long golden dragon spear pointed straight into the sky. All of the concentrated sunlight was congregated around her body. Explode? No. Not a single sound could be heard. Then, an unbelievably bright light started to shine. It was not as eye piercing as before. Instead, it was dazzling and radiant. Wang Qiu's clothes were gone. However, she currently had another layer of golden marble on her that was extremely eye catching. A terrifying aura could be felt from her body, and her powdery blue hair flew behind her. She was naturally beautiful, but at this moment, clad in the golden marble armor, she looked even more regal and mysterious. The terrifying aura made even Zhang Zan, the unbreakable duo, inhale. Shu Tian looked at the scene before her in shock. She could not believe what she was seeing. She had deliberately planned to trap her opponent and then unleash her most powerful soul skill. However, in the end, the power of her attack was gone. On the other hand, her opponent shone so brightly, like a reborn phoenix. What was going on? I know, said Huo Yuao, just now, when his spiritual power penetrated the protective barrier, he could immediately sense Wang Qiu's aura increasing rapidly. Hence, he did not decide to continue assisting her with spiritual detection. Now, as he looked at Wang Qiu, he understood what was going on. Teacher previously mentioned that the dragon god bathed in sun moon essence, which then created the golden dragon and the silver dragon. The golden dragon inherited the brilliance of the sun, which eventually became an ultimate power. The silver dragon absorbed the brilliance of the moon, which eventually became multi-elemental. The golden dragon's power came from the brilliance of the sun, which was also the source of the sun's power. Hence, how could she be scared of fire from the sun? Shu Tian Tian's martial soul is the sun, which is the best complement for her. This has allowed her own power to increase. In my opinion, not only has Qiu regained all her strength, but her power is now also at an unprecedented peak. Her overall soul power may even have increased. The teacher Huo I had mentioned naturally referred to Elden Yu. Only Elden Yu had such a wide range of knowledge. No one knew if the dragon god existed. However, the history of the continent had many records of the golden dragon and silver dragon. Trying to defeat the golden dragon with the power of the sun was like pouring oil on fire. Bei Bei smiled and said, Knowledge is power. Wang Qiu agreed. Wang Qiu gripped her golden dragon spear and walked toward Chu Tian Her feet, covered with golden marble, strode quickly over the surface of the ground, which had been almost completely melted into a metallic puddle. Yet, she showed no sign of discomfort. When Chu Tian finally reacted, the small sun in her palm shone with light. Another divine sunlight landed on Wang Qiu. Wang Qiu had no intention of dodging. The reddish gold light spread all over her golden armor. All it did was make it even glossier. How could it hurt her? You, you, you. Wang Qiu said plainly, I won't kill you, and I must thank you for further refining the power in my blood. My martial soul is the golden dragon, and it has only been purified at this point. My soul power increased by a level two. If you want to continue increasing my soul power, you can continue attacking me. Thanks. Shu Tian Tian's face changed. At that moment, she realized the curious predicament she was in. Her own martial soul would further strengthen her opponent's martial soul. Furthermore, it was a one-way street. When her attack landed on her opponent, it was like feeding her a tonic. Oh shit. The light from the sun went out. Shu Tian Tian looked seriously at Wang
He did not dare to look at his weed captain. Xu Tian quickly stood upright and looked at Zheng Zan, who looked back at her as if she were an alien, and said, I can see defeat. Our team concedes defeat. We won't fight anymore. With that, she turned and walked off the arena. Just when everyone breathed out in relief, Xu Tian suddenly stopped, turned back to look at Wang Qiu, and said, Wang Qiu, are you sure you want a guy in disguise? Wang Qiu gripped her golden dragon spear tightly and said darkly, I realized my decision to not kill you was a mistake. Bye. Xu Tian Sen said as she dashed off without hesitation. She ran, leapt, somersaulted in midair, and very quickly got off the arena stage. The first round of the top eight round ended in such a comical fashion. After Wang Qiu left the arena, she waved at her arena, she waved at her teammates, and then disappeared instantly. After all, the armor formed from the fire of the sun could not last for long. She had nothing on underneath the armor. Furthermore, she wished to absorb everything she had gained today to preserve the increase in her own power. Shrek Academy became the first team to enter the top four. The next round in the first half was between the Proud Sword Sect and the Heavenly Dragon Sect. They stood up and walked to the waiting zone while looking at each other. The enmity between the two teams did not appear to be very strong. Instead, they both shared similar sentiments in their minds. Wang Qiu is too powerful. At first, as the average strength of Shrek Academy was not that strong, the few powerful sects did not pay much attention to them until they witnessed their match against the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy. The performance of Shrek Academy was glorious beyond words. Even though the team from Shrek was a one-woman team, that one woman in their team was too strong. As they watched Wang Qiu leave, even the powerful evil soul masters from the Holy Ghost sexual twary. Just now, an attack that was more powerful than a soul sage could must have served only to beautify her outfit. Wang Qiu, who was already the most powerful soul master in this tournament, had become even stronger. Anyone from the other six teams might meet her. How could they not worry? Among the six teams, only the Tang sect appeared to be at ease. As the first round for the morning ended with the Radiant City Soul Engineering Academy admitting defeat, the tournament was able to move on pretty quickly. The Proud Sword sect and the Heavenly Dragon sect entered the waiting zone. They were told that they had a while to prepare. The arena had to be cleared and maintained. Time was needed for the melted stage shop to cool down. Furthermore, the dripping metal had affected the protective barrier, which also needed to be fine-tuned. On the main podium, Zhu Zi whispered softly in Xu Tianran's ears. Your Highness, Xu Tian and Yuan. She had seen Xu Tianran use his powers before. Hence, she knew about the hereditary martial soul of the Sun Moon Empire's Imperial family. Xu Tianran's face had a weird look as he said, that was my rebellious sister, that girl doesn't listen to anyone, father treated her too kindly, Juzi opened her eyes in shock and said, she's a princess, this, Xu Tianran naturally understood what she meant as he smiled bitterly and said, that's right, she's my brutish, rebellious, and carefree younger sister, she's also the only princess in the main branch of the imperial family, when she was born, she was extremely playful and cute, hence, father named her Tianxian, and she is known as princess Tianxian, however, who would have expected then that this girl could create so much trouble for the entire imperial family, she stole makeup from the concubines, demolished father's rest palace, and even burned the main pavilion down, when she finally grew up, father wanted to send her to study at the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, but she did not want to go, instead, she wanted to study at Shrek to study at Shrek Academy, you should know that our relationship with Shrek Academy has never been good. While she's naughty, she's also father's favorite, and my brothers and I all like her. Naturally, we wouldn't let her take such a risk. For this, father blew up at her for the first time and grounded her for a while. After her grounding, she still chose not to go to the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, as she was still rebellious. Instead, she decided to go to the Radiant City Soul Engineering Academy. Speaking of it, in terms of cultivation, Princess Tianzhen is the best of all my siblings. It was quite a feat for her to enter the top eight. However, she's too embarrassing. Luckily for me, she did not mention that she was a princess. If not, I would really be humiliated. Zhu Zi smiled and said, Princess Tianzhen is so adorable. This isn't a bad thing. I like her direct and carefree personality. She doesn't seem as tired as you, Your Highness. Shu Tian Ran laughed bitterly and said, Exactly. While well, my brothers and I fight among ourselves, we all like her very much. The more we spoil her, the more unrestrained her behavior becomes. There's no way around it. She has to return to the palace after she graduates. As her sister-in-law, please guide her well. If she can be just half as smart and obedient as you, I wouldn't have to worry so much. I don't know what trouble she'll cause next. Also, if you can, help me scout for exceptional talents from the younger generation in Radiant City. Help me find a good husband for her, and I'll be more at ease. Zhu Zi smiled and nodded in agreement. She could tell that while Xu Tianran tried to make his situation sound hopeless, he cared a great deal for Princess Tianzhen. In the resting area, Bei Bei said to Huo Yuao in a low voice, Yuao, after being in this competition, I realized your suggestion for the academy was right. Huo Yuao was stunned, but quickly understood what he meant. Elder brother, do you mean the combination of soul tools and soul masters? Bei Bei nodded. Over the past few years, as the Sun Moon Empire is developing their soul tools rapidly, Shrek has been in an increasingly disadvantageous position. However, ever since Ancestor decided to develop soul tools, I realized that we are finally on the right path. No wonder the Sun Moon Empire devotes so much energy to soul tools. Soul engineers can actually be so strong. However, they don't have enough talented people to become soul masters. On the other hand, our academy does. In this aspect, the original three countries of the Dulua continent are much stronger than the Sun Moon Empire. Every soul master and martial soul has its unique advantages. At the same time, they have their own weaknesses too. With the presence of soul tools, they'll be able to rectify these weaknesses. Furthermore, when soul masters and soul tools work closely together, they'll be able to increase their overall fighting strength. Your ultimate soldier plan has succeeded. I feel that after you recover, you'll undergo a transformation. Look, other than the Radiant City Soul Engineering Academy, which has been eliminated. The other teams that entered the top eight were all soul master sects. Also, many of them know how to wield soul tools. Everyone can see this trend. Huo Yuan chuckled and said, Elder brother, the Tang sect isn't weak in terms of our soul tools. Either, when we get back, we should get Elder Sun to make an appropriate soul tool for each of us. In of us. In fact, the main reason why the Sun Moon Empire can beat the original three countries on the Duluo continent with soul tools is because of the disparity in strength at a high level. In terms of individual battling strength, a class 9 soul engineer cannot match up against a 9 ring title Duluo. However, on the battlefield, the situation is different. The destructive power a class 9 soul engineer can bring to the battlefield far exceeds that of a 9 ring title Duluo. Furthermore, there are many possibilities for soul tools. Hence, the title Duluo does not have the overall advantage over a class 9 soul engineer. Shrek Academy and the former three countries may be developing soul tools, but we started off late and in terms of high end soul tools, the Sun Moon Empire is far ahead of us. If we want to catch up, we will need time. It's not hard for each country to realize the potent combination of soul masters and soul tools. Like Shrek, if that's our only objective, there's no way we can beat a class 9 soul engineer. The same applies to the Tang sect. No one knows how many class 9 soul tools the Sun Moon Empire has accumulated over all these years. While we can't ascertain their number, it's certain that the strength of just one can eliminate an entire army. That is extremely scary. Hence, if we want to resist the Sun Moon Empire, we will have to delay them as much as possible for our own research and development to catch up. After all, in terms of title duo, the original three countries of the continent will always have an advantage, even if the Sun Moon Empire has the Holy Ghost Church. Bei Bei nodded and said, You're right. However, the Sun Moon Empire is on the verge of striking. I feel that once the Crown Prince ascends the throne, he'll start a full-scale war. Time
any hesitation. That was my desire. In other words, my hard work was primarily driven primarily driven by a strong desire for revenge. However, teacher then asked me, what comes after revenge? I couldn't answer him. At that time, I didn't know what I'd do after I got my revenge. Teacher then said, I don't expect you to go and save humanity, but I hope that you can be a good person. Since you have no goal for your future, let me give you this goal. Then, confused, I asked teacher, what's the definition of a good person? Teacher smiled and told me to make more people smile. At this point, who are you? I suddenly paused and frowned for a moment before continuing. If there's war, no one knows how many people will perish. No one knows how many people will become refugees. Hence, I hope that by taking part in the war, I'll be able to shorten it. Once the war ends, many people will smile happily. Of course, if possible, I hope that there will be no war to begin with. However, what I can do is still too limited. Bei Bei was shocked by what Huo Yuan had said. He had never expected his little brother to say such things. Wang Donga was shocked too. She gripped Huo Yuan's hand and said softly, I want to be a good person. Too. When you do all this, I'll always be by your side. Bei Bei suddenly smiled. He placed his hand on Huo Yuao's shoulder and said, Earlier, I felt that the Tang sect lacked an ideal or goal. However, I believe I have found it now. Thank you, Yuao. The two of them looked at each other and smiled. Nothing needed to be said. At this moment, the arena had been cleaned up, and the second round of the fight for the top eight was about to start. First half, second round, Proud Sword Sect versus Heavenly Dragon Sect. The Tang sect was not very familiar with these two sects. At this stage, if anyone wanted to win, they had to use all their strength. Hence, this was the best time to observe their opponents, which is why they had arrived early. While Wang Yuao had left, along with the other female teammates, the rest of the team from Shrek Academy, such as Dai Huibing, Shi Chuan Yu, Zhou Sikin, Kao Jingxuan, and a few others, stayed behind to watch and make preparations. The winner of this fight, be it the Proud Sword Sect or the Heavenly Dragon Sect would be their opponent. The competition was still being refereed by the unbreakable duo and class 9 soul engineer, Zheng Zan. The first people both sides sent out were both big, tall youths. The competitor from the Proud Sword Sect wore tight fitting green clothes. He was at least 1.8 meters tall, and while he had to be under 20 years old, he looked very mature. His shoulders were broad, and his arms exceptionally long. In particular, his hands were large, and his fingers were long and thick. When they saw this person walking up on stage, Ji Juikin had the biggest reaction among everyone from the Tang Sect. A razor sharp sword chi started rising from him. While it was momentary, it caught the attention of everyone from the Tang Sect. Ji Juikin narrowed his eyes. There was a fanatical look in his eyes at this moment. He tapped lightly on the armrest of his seat. Who are you, Alan? Huo Yuao and Jingzian had seen this reaction from him often. It meant that his desire to fight was at its maximum, and he was itching to act. Evidently, the youth from the Proud Sword Sect had aroused this sentiment in him. On the other side, a youth in tight fitting red clothes appeared. He was also tall and strongly built, but he was slightly shorter than the youth from the Proud Sword Sect, yet appeared much firmer and broader. His hair, which looked as hard as metal, was orange, red, and short. Both of them were extremely powerful. Thanks to Wang Yuo's stunning performance in the individual round, every team now sent their most powerful teammate out in the first round. If not, they would suffer like the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy and the Radiant City Soul Engineering Academy, and be at a disadvantage and lose their momentum. That was not a good thing. Hence, even if the two of them were not the most powerful members of the Proud Sword Sect and the Heavenly Dragon Sect, they were not that far off. State your names. Proud Sword Sect, Wu Yifon, Heavenly Dragon Sect, Zinyan, the two Youths stated their names, but they fixed their gazes firmly on one another. A powerful intent to fight could clearly be felt by both of them. Please retreat and prepare for the competition. While Zhang Zan felt stifled in the previous round, it had ended, and he was now finally able to relax. At this moment, as he refereed a match between two comparatively normal sects, he appeared to be in a much better mood. The two competitors retreated to their respective ends of the arena. As they turned to face each other, their eyes started to shine. A powerful and unbridled fighting intent was rising up. Begin. Right after Zheng Zan said that, Zheng Yan from the Heavenly Dragon Sect struck first. He took one step out and with a bang, his entire body shot forward like a cannon shell. In midair, two yellow, two purple, and two black soul rings appeared. He was an elite. Not only was he a six-ring soul emperor, but he also had the ideal soul ring combination. However, why did his fighting style look so familiar? Everyone in the audience had the same thought in their mind. His fighting style seemed to resemble Wang Donga's. However, his explosive violent strength was slightly weaker than hers, not quite as terrifying and unstoppable. Even so, his overall style resembled hers quite closely. In Madeira, his first soul ring started to shine. A layer of thick, scarlet dragon scales enveloped his entire body instantly. This was his martial soul, the scarlet dragon. A deafening dragon roar rang from his mouth. Xinyan's body doubled in size. His thick body was covered with dragon scales, including even his face. Evidently, he was not too far from becoming a seven-ring soul sage, who could reveal his martial soul true body. On the other side, Wu Yifan was no ordinary person either. Faced with his charging opponent, he stepped down and positioned his index and middle fingers together. Then, he pointed forward with both fingers. Instantly, a roar could be heard. A wide green sword appeared in Madeira. Likewise, two yellow, two purple, and two black soul rings appeared. However, they did not appear on Wu Yifan's appear on Wu Yifan's body, but instead, on his sword. His first soul ring started to shine. The soul rings of normal soul masters would shine brightly when they unleashed their soul skills. The halo expanding outward or increasing in size. However, Wu Yifan's soul ring was different. The first soul ring shone on his green sword and started to contract, and was completely absorbed into his sword. The green light on the sword flashed, and a ray of sword light shot out with an ear-splitting shriek as it pierced towards Xinyan of the Heavenly Dragon Sect. No wonder he was from the Proud Sword Sect. His martial soul was this sword. Faced with this sudden sword chi, Xinyan's face changed. In terms of explosive strength, he was not as powerful as Wang Kyua, the gold dragon girl, and so naturally was much slower. If Wang Kyua were the attacker, Wu Yifan could still use his sword chi, but by the time it reached her, Wang Kyua might already be in front of him. Right now, Xinyan was still 20 meters away. Faced with the incoming sword chi, Xinyan's third soul ring started to shine. He made a circle with his hands, and an intense, dark red light appeared on his dragon claws. It went straight for the sword chi. Not only did he want to learn her battling style, but he also wanted to learn her indomitable force. In the past few days, the Heavenly Dragon Sect had studied Wang Kyua's fighting style the most avidly. The reason was simple. The martial souls of all the disciples of the Heavenly Dragon Sect were dragons. Some dragon martial souls were weak, while others were strong. However, they had all inherited the haughty elegance of dragons. When Wang Kyua fought, she demonstrated a haughty and elegant style which had captivated everyone from the Heavenly Dragon Sect. Hence, the students and teachers of the sect researched Wang Kyua's fighting style and studied its essence. Then, they taught it to their disciples. Faced with an opponent attacking head-on, they would not dodge their opponent's attack. The benefit of this was not only in appearing powerful. Through the Heavenly Dragon Sect's careful analysis, this was the best way for the two sides to come into contact in the shortest possible time. At the same time, they could also suppress their opponents in terms of aura. This was an excellent way to fight if you were a more powerful soul master. Sh any piercing sound could be heard. The green sword chi was shattered by Xinyan's punch. However, he felt a pain shoot through his fist, and wounds could be seen on his scales. It was not easy to resist. Not everyone could do this so simply. Wu Yifan stepped forward after he released his sword chi. His strong right hand gripped the handle of the sword. The tips of his toes touched the floor, and then he leapt